Hello, this is Gerald Unruh, one of the Pyro CMS developers, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pyro CMS and get started with your first site. We're at pyrocms.com and we're going to download the current version of 1.0.1 is what it's at right now. Okay, now we're going to move that onto our local server and rename the file to something simple. We're going to call it Pyro CMS. A nice short name, all lowercase. Now let's head to the installer and click through that and fill that out. That's at your local host, then whatever you name the folder. In our case, Pyro CMS slash installer. Okay, step one. Fill out your server info, which will probably be localhost. Your database username, password. And I would recommend to leave it as without mod rewrite unless you're certain that your server is working properly with mod rewrite. Check all the settings looks like everything is fine besides curl which is okay for this install my server doesn't have curl enabled on to the next step check folder permissions everything is writable except for the config file copy this command and we'll head to the terminal to change that open terminal and CD to the folder that you named paste the command and it's changed back to the installer try it again now it's writable step 4 database name I named it video automatically create the database and fill in your user information your email administrator email and a good password it's now installing alright and let's go to the control panel Okay, log in with the administrator email that you just used and the password. And here we go. This is the dashboard of version 1.0.1. .1. And this is the default front end. Okay, let's change the default text for starters on the home page go to content pages and edit the home page let's erase this text and put something different in just to show that it's working save let's create a new gallery we'll name it wallpapers for lack of something better and quick description save it and let's upload images keep this pretty simple short little caption on the default theme the caption is showed right under the image that's going to vary depending on what theme you use and you can see we have two photos uploaded 
Okay, now let's make some links to point to the new gallery. Name it Galleries and select Module and point it to the Galleries module. Save that and let's make another one that points to the contact form so site visitors can contact you and by default this will go to the administrator email if you don't like that you can change it in settings okay let's check it out and see our new changes refresh and there we go galleries there is the gallery that you just created and there's the image the caption underneath it and here's the default contact form now let's do one more thing let's sort these it's a simple drag and drop and they're in a different order now. Contact Us is now before Galleries. Okay, I also want to show you how to put a widget in a page content. So go to Widgets and we will put a Social Bookmark widget after the page content. So drag that up to the unsorted widget area and we'll just name it Social Bookmarks got a couple different display modes we'll just leave it as default which is horizontal and save that now the tag you're going to use in the page content is the pyro widgets instance and the ID of this social bookmarks widget is 5 go back to the home page and edit it again and underneath your text put the tag pyro widgets instance ID equals 5 save and let's view our changes refresh and there we go we have a social bookmarks widget under our page content.